Okay, how's everybody doing this evening? Uh, I believe mainnet launch is still in process, uh, working out all the details. Uh, everything I monitor on chat sounds like it's going fairly smoothly. It's just uh, the governess that needs to take place for everybody to agree on the correct chain. So I, I expect it to happen here any day, but um, it will happen. What I want to talk about tonight, right after this Mustang leaves, is I want to talk about a case. It's a crazy place we live here in California. It's a crazy place, man. <laughs> but anyway, I want to talk about the Howie case. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Howie case, what the Howie case is, is it's a U.S. Supreme Court case. And what happened in the Howie case is, um, sorry, still hear the, still hear the must, must, Mustang in the background. I love Mustangs. Uh, but anyway, what the Howie case is, is uh, it's, it's an orange grove in Florida that actually sold part of their land, I think half the land, to people that were from New York that wanted to invest in the orange grove. Um, and what they did is they sold the land. They actually sold the land. And they sold it with a warranty deed. If you don't know what a warranty deed is, a warranty deed gives you all the rights and all the, um, the protection under a law, your warranty deed. Not like a quick claim deed where you only get what the owner has. In a warranty deed, you actually get the entire deed. But in this case, they gave it. They, they sold the property to these uh, investors from New York. The investors in New York uh, bought the property, but... They continue to let the Howie Company, the Howie Orchard, manage the orchard and then pay the people that had bought the property for the processing of the oranges, the selling of the oranges, and the overhead of, of managing the orange grove and all this other stuff. Um, the reason I'm talking about this case is because this case has to do with what they call the Howie test. What the Howey test is, is it determines whether something is a security or not in the United States of America. So the Security and Exchange Commission applies this test, called the Howey test, to determine if something is security or not, of which companies like Ethereum have been evaluated by the Howey test. And I'm not giving you a lot of detail about the case because I don't think the case is all that important. It's a, it's a U.S. Supreme Court case, so it's, it's reached the highest court in the United States. And it uh, it has it has authority because of uh, because of the fact it's gone through the court of appeals, and it's it's uh, considered uh, it's considered one of the highest cases. Uh, please not but must not be out tonight because there's a lot of activity here. If I don't have the trains, I got cars. So anyway, tonight it's cars. Last night was trains. I think the night before that it was trains. But anyway, the reason I bring up the Howey case is because the Howey case determines whether blockchain or whether ICOs are securities or not. Based on this agreement that took place in 1946, whether somebody owned the property or actually it was an investment of which there was property was being managed and they, were, they had a return. They were, they were like uh, entered into a, 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 a contract with somebody where they actually took care of the orchard grove. But they, God, here it comes again, man. This is a crazy. I should just make this video about people screaming around Carlsbad at about one o'clock in the morning. So this guy's about ready to do the same thing. It's probably as good as anything tonight. o'clock in the morning I think it's probably yes yeah, about one o'clock in the morning so anyway I've totally destroyed my thought on Howie and I totally destroyed what I was gonna say about it but anyway let's just keep going forward because I'll try to uh, bring this thing to a conclusion before uh, somebody in a tank runs up and down the street so uh, um, the reason I bring this case up because it determines what a security is in the United States of America like I say highest authority case there is because US Supreme Court case this is the law that determines whether Ethereum or the reason probably why EOS, EOS, EOS uh, wasn't offered in the United States of America is because of cases like that, 
the Howie case, uh, the Security Exchange Commission versus Howie. Howie is a test of whether something is security or not. And the fact that something from 1946 can determine 2018 technology is the reason why, at this point, you're not seeing major investments in blockchain. I mean, we're seeing huge investments in blockchain, but we're not seeing uh, the people that really are going to make this uh, mainstream. Take it from mainnet to mainstream. Because of cases like the Howey case, and trying to determine what a security is or not a security. This get, will get solved very quickly. I think the airdrops solve uh, the Howey ruling. Because in Howey, you actually were investing money and entering to, to a service contract for the, for, the, for, the, for the taking care of the property, of which you, it was considered an investment because you got a return. So it wasn't, they weren't selling the land, they were actually selling an investment in the land, and then you could um, reap the benefit of it. So it become an investment and not an actually a land purchase or a land contract or a lawn purchase. So I think airdrop solves that problem. So airdrops, I wouldn't think, would consider that because there's no money exchange. There's no investment value. People aren't investing in something to get back a return. I think, I think airdrops do solve that issue. But until that issue and the issue of custody, meaning that you don't have a wallet out there that somebody can hack and take your money, that there's somebody, the third party always going to be responsible for it, um, there's a lot of people who will steer, steer clear of something like blockchain and steer clear of something like EOS. The 1946 case, Supreme Court case, that determines what 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 a what a, uh, um, what a security is will be overcome. I mean, I don't think that law will continue to take effect in this kind of in this day and age, especially with the advent of, of, of blockchain and people being involved with blockchain. The custody issue has got to get solved, and it will be getting solved. I think EOS does solve, solve a custody issue as far as making account names and being able to have arbitration and the ability for the transactions to have a little bit of time before they actually take effect so that stuff can get reversed. So your money doesn't get lost. It just doesn't get stolen. It's gone. You open up your wallet and you're, you're, you, you, know, you don't have any money. That issue will get solved. So these two issues will get solved. Once these two issues get solved and this becomes mainstream, you will see an amazing amount of stuff take place on this blockchain. I think EOS will solve all these problems, and I think EOS will take this from mainnet to mainstream. And here we go again. It's loud. I bet it's loud in the video. It's really loud when I'm standing here. Uh, so anyway, my video basically tonight has been about people screaming up and down Carlsbad Village Drive in Carlsbad, California. There was just a little bit of talk about. Uh, some of the things that need to get solved with blockchain that will get solved. Uh, the, the, the idea of what's a security, not a security, and also the idea of custody. Those will get taken care of. So anyway, that's all I got for tonight because I don't even know if I'm going to get run over here in the next 10 minutes. But anyway, I had a lot of fun tonight doing this video because I do enjoy showing Carlsbad and sometimes stuff that's kind of interesting. And tonight's been interesting. I appreciate you watching. Thank you.